please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may now be seated. Good morning and welcome to Westerns TV. Good morning and welcome to West Ranch TV. Coming up in today's show, we've got a lot of great stuff for you. Uh, we'll get a chance to sit down with some members of our very own Build On Club, as well as... We'll also get an inside look at our girls' soccer season, as well as a student here on campus sharing her musical talent with others. I'm Callie Thompson. And that makes me Connor Williams. Today is Tuesday, November 29th, and West Ranch TV starts right now. Welcome back. We here at Western TV would like to wish a warm welcome back to our students of Build On Club as well, as they have just returned from Malawi, in which, in which I have been told is an incredible journey. Levi is standing by in the studio to talk more. Levi? Thanks, Connor. I'm here with Build On member Athreya Anand. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for having um, me. So what exactly is Build On? So Build On is an on-campus organization where students are able to travel to a third world country and, or developing country and build a school with enhancement experience. Uh, our main uh, target was for students right now on third world uh, developing countries, um, clubs that raise to help them. Um, the problem is that when they raise that money, they exa don't know exactly where it's going. So what Build On does, all the money that they raise goes exactly to the student. So now that student can use that money to travel to third world country and have a hands-on experience on exactly what, what they want to do and build a school. Nice. So uh, you and a group went to Malawi. Um, so what was your initial reaction when you arrived there in Africa? It was impossible to wrap our mind around it. It was a completely immersive experience. So um, no electricity, no running water, no cell phones, no sleeping bags, no air conditioning, no anything. So what we had to do was completely immersive um, and we got to build a school. So it was amazing nice um, so what did you take away from your experience of helping all these so people? so overall we became a lot more appreciative of the gifts and luxuries we have back here I've never seen people so much happier than we are with so much less so like with all these luxuries we have we should be so much more appreciative for the things we do have of course um, so um, thank you so much uh, you you guys had a great time there um, so thank you for stopping by now back to Connor thanks thanks Levi our very own Build It Club is not the only one achieving great things here on campus. Other clubs meeting today include Halo in room 212, Special Olympics in room 422, and Key Club in 308 at brunch today. At lunch, the movement will be meeting in room 202, FBLA in 427, and Post-it Note Society in room 502. The CSF toy drive is underway, so please bring a new toy valued at $10 or more to room 303 this Thursday or Friday. This is the last CSF event, and members must participate in one event per semester to maintain membership. This holiday season, enjoy the gift of giving and sign up for Santa's Helpers. You can help out on Friday sorting gifts and Saturday wrapping gifts for kids. Please see Mrs. Smith in the counseling office for more information. During this frigid holiday season, our freshman class will be having a must-needed hot chocolate fundraiser starting tomorrow and continuing through Friday. Be sure to grab a cup during tutorial and brunch outside the ASB office. While you use these hot chocolates to warm up, girls or boys trying out for the volleyball team must do the same. Tryouts for spring will be from 3 to 5 p.m. on December 6th and 8th in the gym. And don't forget about our teams already out on the field this season. Make sure to come out and support boys soccer today against Newberry Park here at the ranch at 315. With winter in full swing, our girls varsity soccer team is on their way to victory this season. Let's take it out to Hannah live in the studio to hear from three captains themselves. Thanks, Callie. I'm here with the captains of the girls' varsity soccer team. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for having us. What are you looking forward to for the upcoming season? We're looking forward to building strong relationships with our team members and to finish our senior year strong. And Abby, what are you hoping to accomplish as this is your last year of high school soccer? We 
hope to take first in league for the first time in Western history and to make it far in playoffs. And Erin, when is your next game? Our next game is tomorrow at Agora High School at 6.15. Good luck, ladies. That's all for me. Let's take it back to Callie. Thanks, Hannah, and good luck to our girls' soccer team this season. West Ranch is known for more than just our talented athletes. Our very own West Ranch Jazz Band will be having a concert on Friday at 7 p.m. in the Performing Arts Theater. Come out and enjoy some great music by our talented jazz musicians. Our West Ranch Jazz Band has such incredible talent, but they're not alone in their passion for music. A fellow Wildcat, Marley Berry, is an extraordinarily gifted singer who spreads positivity to those around her. Let's take a look. My favorite part about singing is that it's part of you, literally, and you don't have to like carry it around like an instrument, and it's like really personal. And she grew up around a lot of music, even in the womb. She was always around music and live performances and concerts and rehearsals for shows and plays and all kinds of different things like that. Music in my life has definitely made me more outgoing. Um, I used to be really shy and I didn't want to sing in front of anyone. Because she kind of just busted out of her shell <laughs> kind of fast. So I think maybe just the first time that she really got up and sang in public. Um, Everybody was just kind of shocked, like, oh my God, where did that come from? So it was just like, I was really proud of her for breaking through that kind of shyness or really just having the confidence and the courage to just break out of her shell and do what she loves to do and what she's obviously very talented at. A lot of kids are afraid or don't know what they love yet. And so it's cool to see people like Marley and her age, like pursuing what they love at a young age and just trying different hobbies and crafts and stuff. My dream would probably be to make a career out of music somehow. If that's what she wants to do, and that's what she loves, then we support it. Or that, I do anyway. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> I'm super proud of her. Stay inspired. Yeah. We're both proud of you. Stay inspired. <laughs> and, and be cool. Keep pursuing your dreams and never give up and be the bright light you are and love everyone. Well, that's all we have for you today. Thanks for watching. Tune in tomorrow uh, when we'll have other things for you. <laughs> Bye. Bye now. <laughs> what?